Since we already got the cutting board ready, we're also gonna mince up the garlic and everything to make the sauce. And I will go through and show everyone as well. This is the really, really easy. So right now we're just uh, crushing the garlic and then we're gonna mince the garlic. And then after that, I'm just gonna put it into the bowl. So for our sauce, we want the garlic minced up really fine. And as you can see, this is nice and fine. And now we're gonna just add it to our bowl. And then we're also going to cut up some onions as well. So the onion has to be very fine too. Yeah, finely sliced the green onions here. And this is going to go in our sauce. And here are the remaining ingredients for our sauce. We got here the soybean paste, we got the chili uh, pepper paste, we got sesame oil, and we got sugar. And we're just gonna be adding in all these ingredients together and mixing it together, and then we're gonna set it in the fridge to set until dinner time. There we go, nicely cut up, finely chopped green onion. Perfect. Let's put it in. And now you're gonna add the sauce. We're gonna need one big tablespoon of this. There we go. And then same with the chili pepper. We're gonna do one, maybe possibly a little more than one for this one. So do one and then maybe a little tad more. That should be good. And add in the sugar. I'm just gonna pour in the sugar, it's okay. I can eyeball it. I probably about the same, about a tablespoon, I would say. That's good. And then I'm gonna add in the sesame oil. Here we go. I'm gonna squeeze away, just so that it makes a paste. Now we just have to mix it all together. And we can add more along the way. Yeah. You can adjust the consistency by just adding a little more or less of the sesame oil. In this case, you want it in a paste, so a little more in that. It also depends on how spicy you like the sauce to. So I tend to make mine kind of on the mild side just because okay. my family, <laughs> yeah. We have to cater to kids and also we don't have very many this people eating the spicy food or very spicy food for that case. To know, you can always give it a try, mix it all well, and then just give it a taste. And then that way you'll know if it's seasoned well. Mm. Yep, yeah. and then that's it. Perfect. Okay, we'll just wrap this up and put it in the fridge and let it sit until dinner.